This morning, we are continuing the conversation about insects that are invading our outdoor spaces as we all try to enjoy the outdoors this summer. So during the last hour of the morning show, the chief of mosquito control for the city of Jacksonville joined us to explain what the city is doing right now to reduce the mosquito population and what you can do if you need the city to spray in your area. Now we're focusing on what attracts mosquitoes and other pesky insects to our backyards and property. Dr. Roberto Pareta is an entom entomologist an expert basically in insects with the University of Florida and is joining us live via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So first, let's talk a little bit about the number one annoyance, which is mosquitoes. There are certain colors that they're attracted to. Yeah, they are usually attracted to darker colors uh, because that mimics animals that they would normally feed on. So if you use light color clothing, it will be attracting fewer mosquitoes to you. Okay, good, good, good thing to know. What about smells? Is there a smell that attracts mosquitoes? Well, what attracts them is your natural body smell. Uh, they, they look for that sweat smell and, and, and that's what triggers them to come toward you. So if you were to try to mimic that, it would be good. Uh, but sometimes we put some smells on ourselves, like a flower uh, smell that may actually attract some mosquitoes too to uh, to ourselves. So it, that's not a good idea. <laughs> right. There. So so any perfume, for example, for the women who are watching that may smell like flowers or or sometimes we use that lotion that we put on that has kind of a, a floral smell to it. We want to avoid those if we're going to go to a backyard barbecue. What what about yeah. this? The, I, I've heard about garlic. If you eat garlic, that somehow that wards them off. Is that true? Uh, that is partially true. And uh, but you know, it also wards people off uh, and you're, you're not going to be very popular. So you probably don't want to do that. But yeah, that's that's one thing that people uh, have done in the past. And this is something that I've noticed, you know, if, if we're outside and we're running and exercising and sweating, it seems like the mosquitoes really, really are drawn to us. Is there something about sweat that attracts them? Yeah, definitely, because that's the cue that they have a live animal around so that's the smell that they're really going after uh and if you're sweating more if you're producing more co2 uh that is uh just increasing the attraction to yourself co2 is is a great attractor and every time that you breathe uh you're breathing co2 out uh and that that is bringing the mosquitoes in. Interesting. So 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 technically, then someone who maybe is larger, taller, bigger, maybe even pregnant women, uh, they tend to uh, you know emit more carbon dioxide, and then as a result, are are, are more prone to being a mosquito's target. Yeah, yeah, hmm. certainly. And and if so, somebody is exercising, you are emitting more CO two out too, and that that is causing mosquitoes to come back. To you, so uh, so you know, um, we asked our viewers, uh, you know, what is bothering them? What kind of insects? And in, in addition to mosquitoes, they named two others. The first one is the common housefly. And I'll tell you, I've got this one that has somehow flown into the house that I can't seem to get. What is it that attracts flies to us? And and flies can actually make us sick. Yeah, well. Flies are frequenting, uh, are uh, attracted to garbage in general. And uh, so usually these places will have, a, you know, bacteria and, and other things that could make you sick. So if they fly to, to garbage, pick up some of these organisms, then fly to something that you're going to be eating and sit there for a while, some of that bacteria and other organisms can get into that food. And then if you consume that food, uh, you're likely to get sick. Uh, but, you know, that's why we shouldn't having to uh, be having too many uh, flies around. That's why we use window screens and things that keep them out of the house. Dr. Pereira, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate you. And, and I want to also thank you for your time. I also wanted to remind our viewers also the other um, insect that's really bothering them is called the yellow fly, which actually stings. They um, are attracted to black 
colors, so black and blue. So if you are out and about and you buy those sticky pads, uh, Dr. Perea told me when I spoke to him on Friday that those are very successful in attracting yellow flies, black and blue colors. Also want to point out a researcher at the University of Florida developed this military grade device to protect troops from mosquitoes. It's called the Insectu. We tested it. It worked great. In fact, the city of Atlantic Beach tested it and is now using this. If you'd like more information about where to buy it and how it works, just look for this article on newsforjax.com. We'll be right back.